Well, I had an Aunt Oni. Aunt Oni. Oni, not Oni. Uh -oh. Oni. I can't even say it. But here we are in our renovating house. <laughs> Whatever we we've got lots of projects going on. Uh, most of what I've done um, has been outside or floor work or things you can't see so much or replacing damaged. There's uh, old wood sheathing on the sides. So we're gonna vinyl, hopefully put vinyl siding over top of it, but uh, we have to replace any you know bad boards or anything. So I've been working on all those things, but you've been busy cleaning up this house. We'll show everybody what it looks like a little bit cleaner. Um, Floors are still dirty, but a lot of the junk's gone. All, all of the stuff, all, all everything that was not supposed to be here inside is gone. It's gone. So, everything. and that was six trailer loads, six. six trailer loads full of just things that were inside the house. That doesn't have anything to do with outside the house. And right now, there's at least three trailer loads outside, but we haven't even touched the little building in the back. So there's probably going to be five more trailer loads <laughs> so five or six more trailer loads but the more important thing here is you've named the house and i think there's a story behind it we've been naming our houses for right. a long time right yes absolutely <laughs> this one has a cute name yes. whoever buys it in the future may not want to keep it but i i don't know why they wouldn't well if they don't it's okay so what's what's this girl's name this is Minnie Melvani. Minnie Melvani. Okay. <laughs> Minnie Melvani. That Minnie is Melvani. that is hillbilly to the core, right? <laughs> so what's the story behind Minnie Melvani? So my great grandmother, mm -hmm. Desi Jane Taylor Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, as a little girl knew someone, she would tell stories about two children and their names were Minnie Melvani mm -hmm. and Georgie Buck. David. Georgie Buck, B U C K, Buck, yes. right? Buck. David. Let's make sure we get that out there. Yes. Georgie. Georgie Buck David. Georgie Buck David and, and Minnie, Minnie Melvani. Melvani. They were like friends, or do we know? I don't know. We don't know. But um, I just thought they were cute names, <laughs> and I gave our kids dibs on them for grandbaby names, and they passed. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So I used I don't for know why. For the house. So I think <laughs> Minnie Melvani is pretty good, and one it's of the reasons. Sister. Because there were, up until just a few days ago, vines on a lot of the house. <laughs> so, mini male vining is pretty good. So, I like it. So, uh, anyway, because there are some odd names in our family. Well, you've got, uh, like, your grandmother. Um, well, I had an Aunt Oni. Aunt Oni. Oni. Not Oni. Uh -oh. Oni. I can't even say it. Oni, Oni, Oni. was a short for Iona. I don't know. And she was married to Uncle Dobby. Uh huh. And Dobby was short for Dolphus. Dolphus. <laughs> Do I think it was Dolphus Lester. Uh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then um, there was a cousin who was Hambone. Uh huh. He called himself Ham. Yeah. For short. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to see if anybody uh, watching this has unique, you know, right. family names. You well, know, if so. you think about it, Nothing shocks us in the South. You could say any name and it won't shock us That's in true. the South. <laughs> That's true, but now South, Southern, Deep Southern is one thing, but then like there's the Hillbilly Southern, you know, and that's a whole different culture yeah. than itself. But anyway, I like the name, Minnie Melvani. Minnie Melvani. Okay, so here we are and got our nice living room furniture here. <laughs> So we can warm up by the fireplace, right? We have a place to eat a sandwich when we're working. But now, you know, a lot of the, all the junk's gone. I, now I've got some tools or whatnot in here because we're working on things. But uh, definitely gives everybody a better uh, sight as to, you know, things in here. So these, you know, obviously there's tons of work to do in here, but part of that work is getting junk out, right? Yeah. So the trash is gone. The trash is gone. Let's go through here. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's free of debris, right? So, yep. um, all the broken blinds are gone and now we see the windows that are broken and need fixed. Right. <laughs> we just keep uncovering things. Yep. Now, right here, actually, we, uh, there was a door right here. An exterior door. 
work. And, and it was one of four or five. Yeah, well, you have two, like two, there was a set of two right here, one here, mm -hmm. and then of course this one right here, uh, which we're gonna keep the double because it makes sense to come out of a dining room off to a, like a back patio, right? Yeah, definitely. And so it just gives more space and flows right. better to not have so many exterior rooms. Right, exactly. So, and then in here, you know, of course, there was junk in here, but there's no more junk anymore. And uh, so it's cleaned out and ready to, to do some work on. And then of course the bathroom really didn't have much in it to start with other than just being uh, junked actually, up. Actually, there was two trash bags. Two trash bags yes. in that in that bathroom. In the closets and the shelving areas, yeah. there were things. Yeah. Really, wow. Okay, so then we're in this bedroom, which- and This door's gonna go- Yep, back. because that just breaks. It's not an original door anyway. Right. It's been, it's a door that's been brought in. Yeah. And um, plus this, this room needs more wall space. Yeah, <laughs> well let me back up here because you've got this little foyer area or whatever. And of course we're keeping it in these, these, you know, just really pretty. Uh, but so to, to, to bring this and I think we'll probably take this door off so that we don't have one more thing. Just let it be an entrance to this little hallway area where you have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Right, exactly. Perfect. And then, and then probably change this door here. It actually, man, it's, it's a mess of doors. So that this door will actually, hopefully we'll reverse this so that it opens to the inside. So that, it would be, what do you think? It would, it might would be better to have it open to the outside since this is just a hallway. Okay. Well, rather than take up room in the bedroom, but well, we'll, we can decide. We'll figure that out. Okay. But this one's going bye-bye. Yeah. And of course, this shelf over here is going bye-bye. Um, and then uh, stuff like that. So as we go on through here, uh, I, well, I've started working in here just to see how so it bad was, it was going to be. Close it off, you'll come through the kitchen. <clears throat> You'll yep. come through the kitchen to get to here. And, um, right. Which would make sense anyway, because this is yeah. more of a uh, den in here. And, uh, or whatever, what would you call it? Yeah. Yeah, a den. Our second living room. So we've tore off some of the walls here just to kind of look at it and see what we got. But the built in does have to go because it's been wet and it's warped and yeah. it's not in good shape at all. To yeah. our disappointment. Right, but now the floors are good. The floors are solid, and we've been all up under this house and everywhere, and uh, you know, so the floors are in real good shape. But you know, we just got a lot of things to do. But we're gonna sheetrock all this in here anyway, um, since we're gonna tear all that down. I might as well go back with sheetrock, and then uh, kitchen. Uh, you said you wanted an open floor plan, and uh, we were going for that. <laughs> so. But uh, we had- That's actually the only remaining items in the house that have to be removed. <laughs> yeah, because because I cut up the floor. Yeah. The only reason to cut up the floor was to get under there with some jack. There's not very much room to crawl under that part. So we just said, well, you know what, let's and just- we, And we have other repairs, like plumbing and things yes. we have to do. We had all kinds of things going on right there that has to be fixed. And so it's a work in progress. Minnie Melvani is. But uh, and the yeah, so all that's going to be completely the kitchen floors are not the nice hardwood that's everywhere else, right? We've got several things going on here soon. Uh, we're running new electrical in here because right now it only has 100 amp service and 1950 cloth wiring. So we just met with our electrician and we're gonna, you know, redo it all. So we're gonna have everything structural and functional. Nothing is, pretty yet. <laughs> right. But let's get it. We gotta take it one thing at a time. So uh, thank you guys for watching.